All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Back to back end content for you. Like I said, you guys are gonna be seeing the end a lot more this week. Don't forget if you're new here, consider subscribing because we are on a journey to hit 10K by the end of the year. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. What do we have going on today? I mean, you saw it in the beginning of the video. Look at that. Just, just take it all in. Look at all the carbon. So now, not only do we have one hatch with a carbon wing, but we have two hatchbacks with a carbon wing. And Nate showed me up. He's got more carbon on his wing than I have on my wing. But seriously though, this thing is absolutely sick. And obviously it was a lot more expensive than my wing, but it's gonna be a lot easier to install this. And let me show you why. It already comes with a brake light from the factory and all of the stuff you need to mount it. It's all already in the wing. So Nate's just pulling in right now. What? Oh yeah. This is the wing that's on Nate's end right now. This is the factory wing, which I guess is kind of a confusing term because isn't the wing you just bought also OEM? Yeah, yep. it's a end performance part made by Hyundai. Um, they only sell them in Korea right now. I'm not sure if they're ever gonna sell them here. So, but this is a factory wing. OEM wing here, OEM tail light. So this is gonna be just pretty much a, a plug and play type of deal because it has everything it needs to just take the wing and swap it over onto this car. Obviously this wing is a lot shorter and a lot uh, a lot less wide than uh, than the other one and it doesn't have giant winglets and it has fake carbon fiber on the sides. Yeah. This is still cool for an OEM wing. They did a good job. Like it's two levels, it's got some cool um, buttresses. That's a word that Ben might use to describe it. Buttressi. Buttressi. It, it definitely does what it needs to do from the factory. It, it definitely makes it look good but it could look a little bit better. You guys already saw it a second ago, but Nate, if you want to explain any further, I didn't go over any technical specs, so if you want to explain that. Yeah, um, I don't know too many technical specs on this, but this is an OEM end performance wing. So this is carbon fiber top. Um, it's just a regular bottom. So if you see, it has like these attachment points here. It just uses the regular OEM base lid, adds the carbon fiber on top. So we have bigger end plates, it's taller, still uses the same taillight assembly and everything just looks a little bit cooler yeah i mean the gap here versus like the gap over there yeah yeah doesn't fit does not fit so you can really see it like see how this sits right at the top of the taillight mm -hmm. here we'll come over here and that's the extra space right yeah. there just a little bit taller it's not going to be overly aggressive but you're definitely going to see it on the roof line and you'll see the big end plates which this is probably my favorite part right there. I'm just obsessed with this because it's an OEM part, which is really, really cool for Hyundai to make something like that. Not cool that they don't sell it here, but if you're interested in one, hit me up. It's um, a plug, it's the wing plug. I can definitely get you one. It's not cheap. He can hook you up. But, and uh, how much is this actually? Um, you'll, to be honest, after shipping customs and everything, like if you were to order one through me, probably 2,400. That's quite yeah. the price tag. It would be much better if they sold them here, but you got to keep in mind this this is shipping all the way from Korea and shipping right now is like extremely expensive. There's customs fees and this part itself is not cheap, but if you are interested in one, we can definitely hook you up. Yeah, and um, I don't know why you wouldn't be. I mean, this thing looks awesome. If you're actually going to look for a wing for this car, it's definitely the best one to get. There's some other ones out there that are that are okay and good, but uh, this is definitely my favorite less option. Less TIE fightery. Yeah, less. This one's, yeah, <laughs> that's all we'll say. <laughs> this has pretty much all the hookups um, on the bottom. It has foam tape, the electrical connector, brake lights already installed. It's got everything ready to go. Um, this is a very, very quick install, so let's jump right into it. Three main bolts here, and then there's two under these caps on each side, just to keep water out. These come off super easy, like that. So, simple now. We just need to undo this connector, which is for the tail light, and this, which is for the washer fluid. So we already saw these on the bottom of the wing over there. 
So these will just come right out. All right, I'm gonna start with these ones and then we'll take off the uh, outer edge ones and I'll have Ben's help to kind of take the wing off. It does have some sticky foam on this, so we will kind of have to like peel it off, uh, nice. clean it up a little bit, but it should be quick and easy. And like I said, the replacement one already has all those attached, so we'll just slap it on and hopefully we'll be in business. That was actually extremely hard to get it off. It's held down by these two 3M strips that literally are, are impossible. It's like the world's greatest 3M tape. Like, yeah, that was next level. If there were no bolts or hardware on that wing, that would have held it by itself. So we're gonna clean it up with some alcohol real quick because we got the glass and the, uh, the car a little dirty. You don't want to put on the new, or actually, where do you want this? Oh, we can just throw okay. this right here. Here's the factory wing. All ready to get mounted on our garage wall next to my factory wing. What is this D factory wing? Good. It's good when it's it's good when it's got the like the, the you know risers. The, the risers on it. With no risers, it looks terrible though. But I like this little like that wing design, even like from the factory. I know it's not as cool as as the one we're about to put on, but still a cool fra uh, factory wing. Factory. Factory jargon. The braces make it so hard to talk. Like I'm bitching about it, but like I know there's people who had legit. Yeah, like the metal that. ones so uh at least you know thankful i don't have to deal with that i just want to look at this thing one more time what a clean piece dude how does somebody wrap something like this like with all the, the carbon like actual fiber sheet yeah they they did a good job you got to go like full carbon on your car now see the white strip right down on the front grill the one at the very bottom the white strip oh yeah yeah, yeah. yep somebody makes a replacement for that but, but you got to do like the carbon fenders, but then like wrap or paint them and leave the, the vent exposed or something. That would be cool. But those are really expensive, right? Yeah, those aren't that bad actually. It's like a thousand dollars. Somebody oh, makes it's a less full, than the wing. Somebody makes a full carbon rear diffuser. Ooh. It's actually an end performance part, I think, like from oh, really? Korea. Carbon splitter. Full carbon grill. Imagine if somebody made that. Uh carbon mirrors? Would you ever do that? I so somebody makes caps. I don't like the idea of caps because they can peel up. So I'm trying to make Mark scan them and make our own like full replacement ones. Dude, that would be sick. Would, would you ever change the color of this car? All right, so I've talked about this at length. I almost wrapped this car matte gray. Yep. Um, but I decided against it. I really like the white. And I think if I was gonna do anything, it would be like that matte gray silver. I think you should. But um, you know that stuff that Evan Shanks has done on his cars, like Autoflex or whatever? Yeah, yep. It's like high quality Plasti Dip. Um, I would kind of want to try that. I mean, it'd be cool. It's Wrap probably... is really cool, but I've heard some people have had problems with it, like peeling up at edges, because some of the panels on this fit really tight, and so it'll like yeah. kind of peel up. And I just thought it would be cool to try something different, maybe in the future. It's kind of like painting it, right? Like you need a sprayer and, and all that, right? Yeah, and you can do it however you want. Like you could make it some crazy color. You you really could just go all over the place with it but yeah and it's cool because you can peel it like plastic dip right yeah so you just like rip it off in a giant sheet hmm. it's a little bit easier to remove than vinyl that's trying to convince me to do crazy things it's fun it's it's cool to do crazy stuff to your car but the also, biggest thing is going to be wheels i was literally about to say also what are you going to do for wheels oh everybody wants to know two ideas in my head and I'll, I'll tell them to you i'm looking at some rays 57 extremes they are the is that the one with the two spokes yeah, thing. yep. They're called the Rev Limit Edition. So they have like a red lip around it and like a little cutout that says rays in the side. Um, and that'll just match some of like the red accents and whatnot. The other ones are OZ Racing Ultra, Ultra Legera mm. HLT. It's what was on the end performance SEMA car. So it's not that original. They're really cool. But they look good. They're roughly the same price. Rays are black. The OZ Racing ones are like super metallic graphite so i'm not sure what one would be better i love the idea of the oz racing but i like i have this idea in my head about rays and i want another set of rays really badly so i am open to other suggestions i really like rays ce28s and club racer but you can only get them in 18s and not 19s i don't think it'll fit with the brakes though oh yeah yeah the other thing is 
They're like nine hundred dollars a wheel. Mm. What's the rate? What are rates? Oh, uh, those are yeah, rates. Oh, yeah. those were the rates. Nine hundred dollars. The fifty-seven mm. extremes are um like five hundred something, five seventy-five. I want to say. Get some tees. No, that would, tees. I don't think unless they I've were super some deep. With tees. Yeah, same same with my car, but I don't like them on hatches unless yeah. they're super deep. I haven't seen somebody with the fifty-seven extremes yet in that like rev limit edition one. Do I do it? because I like it, or do I not do it because it was already on the performance car and I should be myself? I think you should do what you want, whether that's, that's a, I don't, I, yes. You should always do what you want. I think the problem is I, I don't know what I want. It's tough to choose, dude. Wheels, it, it, besides like money, it took me forever to choose what wheels I wanted. I wanted ones that looked like the work wheels. I wanted ones that looked like TEs, which is and what I ended up uh, what I ended up going with. I wanted ones with like a bit of a lip on them. Like there's too many, there's too many wheel choices. I remember you debating back and forth like every day. Somehow you always end up with the right thing, right? Like yeah. no matter what choice you make, either you love it, and if you don't love it, you get to change it. But I think you made a really good choice. Yeah, I, I like the wheels that I went with and they were good price and and I had a friend help me find those. So I I'm, I think it, it went as well as it could have. I don't know, it'll be cool to see what wheels uh, you end up going with eventually. And are you ever gonna lower it, dude? Cause like there's kind of a lot of gap in between here. And if I was gonna lower it, I'd want it on- Springs? See with springs, like I've driven these with springs in them and they're really rough to ride in. Mm -hmm. Like really, really rough. Yeah. And I don't know if I want that. So I kind of, I know somebody who makes coilovers that work with the electronic suspension. They're like $3,000. That's just, that's uh, not much. worth it. Not worth it. <sighs> Too much money. You know, you could get wheels and tires for that. I think it's time to put this wing on. All right. He's got her all cleaned up. No more dirt. It's time to chuck the wing on the thing. Is it's there still, adhesive? Yeah. Oh boy. This thing's never coming off. Dude, I feel like this wing alone adds a lot of value to your car. I mean, dude, I bet, all right, if it was 2,400 for you to get that here, I guarantee the resale would be like yeah. almost double. This car has a lot of parts that you can't get now. Yeah, dude, we're trying to make this as exclusive <laughs> as possible. You're gonna have like the most exclusive Veloster N that's the ever. Guy. That, yeah, I mean, that's what you want anyways. So you just need the, the full Alcantara seats. Yeah, dude, I'm still trying. RIP. I found somebody who can get them for me. It's just, way too much money right now with the current shipping situation it's a no-go i might wait it's cheaper to get these done at like a supercar level upholstery place in yeah. alcantara here than it would be to buy the seats and ship them here then it wouldn't be oem i well okay <laughs> i know it wouldn't be oem i know that you don't like 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 if there's an option where you could get the factory piece and have it be perfect or you know have someone reupholster it you i know you would want to do the factory one but like yeah. i don't know the the difference in in like how much that would cost yeah, is probably it's, worth it it's because yeah. you're gonna sit on it every time you drive it it's gonna get worn out yeah, that, at that uh, point i would just have somebody do it do a really good job they could even stitch it in a pattern that i liked over you could put custom colored stitching in yeah it. yep do everything exactly the way that I would want it. Yeah. Uh, if somebody really wants these seats and they have a 19 or a 20 and they can't buy them, it would be cool to be able to give them to them. But. Oh, trust me, there are a lot of people who want your seats. <laughs> Just look at my DMs. Hey, do you guys have the seats? Hey, can I buy the seats? You guys still selling those seats? <laughs> it's funny, I'm but- to get the Alcantara ones. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You can't get them right now because of shipping. I can, the shipping is really expensive. It would be like $4,000 to get both. I'm not gonna do just one. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you have to do both. Especially because it's not like stock seat, racing seat. Yeah, it's, it's like two stock seats. So like one, one would be Alcantara seat. and one would be cloth. Yeah. So that not would be good. a no-go. It might happen by the end of the year. I kind of want to focus on the wheels though. And mm -hmm. then if shipping goes down by then or I find a better source for it, because my guy that I usually use can't get those. Um, in Korea, the Hyundai team that makes like upholstery and that stuff is completely separate from all the normal parts. And they're extremely exclusive and kind of rude to people who want to just get stuff. Mm -hmm. So you really have to know an insider. And I spoke with somebody, but I have a feeling his price is- Fuck that, get out. Oh. Ben, don't oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> Why do you have to do that? He always hates when I attack these. <laughs> Let's put this wing on. Is that your 
camera up on the goddamn tripod. Let's. Oh yeah, true. Cherry blue. Look at this, the dude, peel. look at this. Wow. Like I was I was telling Ben when I was putting the final nuts in, I'm like a kid during Christmas where your hands are kind of shaky because you know what your gift is. Like you've opened it, you saw the letter, yeah. and you're like, this is it, this is it. But you gotta be patient and you gotta open it up. Oh man, dude. you just want it to be done already. Oh my God, dude. This is- Way to show up my <laughs> wing, dude. This is nasty. This no, 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 I'm just, I'm just excited for you, dude. Yeah. This, oh, man. That is wild. Look at the freaking winglets on this thing. Like, it's very like oh my god, dude, yeah. that it angle, fits it. Wow. that angle right there, dude. That's so sick. Just barely see it over the top. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. That looks evil, dude. That is so cool. This Jesus. is insane. Look at this, dude. <laughs> Worth it. Look at the winglets. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, it's like you have, I have no words for it. It's so cool. Everybody has their taste in like things they love, but this has just got me like. That's uh, got you amped, dude. Yeah. I can, I can feel it. The energy is higher <laughs> than normal. I like it's, it. It's next, it's like when you get your car and you're like, you park it in your garage and you open you, you your look door back in the night and you're like, like. Yeah, it's oh, still in man. there. Yep. Still looks good. It looks so good. This looks insane. It's a good piece. Like I said, if anybody else wants to take part in this amazingness, let me know. I'm not even, I'm not making a profit off of it. I make zero dollars if I sell you one of these. Yeah. I just want you to have one because it's so freaking cool. I think, uh, I think we're actually going to go take some pictures of this. There's actually a spot like right next to Target that has some cool trees. I think maybe we're going to go test that spot out because it's pretty nice. Well, do you want to go get some pictures? Let's here? go get some pictures. Okay, all right. I am just editing tomorrow's video for you guys. I just wanted to show you this real quick because I think this is really, really cool. Behind me is like my new setup. This is like my new like work setup. I've got my editing laptop right here. I've got like everything I can look at right here. I've got the Pokemon card collection behind me. Got my calendar right there. I don't roast me. I don't know how a PC yet, but I will. That's coming someday. And also streaming might uh, also be coming very soon. So that's going to be really fun. I'm super hyped about how it came out. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm starting to commit to like actual days of, for uploads because sometimes I'm like, Tuesday, Friday, or like Monday, Thursday, or like Wednesday, Saturday, and that's like, that's not good enough. You guys need like solid upload time. So I'm committing right now to Tuesday and Thursdays and possibly sometimes Saturdays or Sundays. Like if I have anything extra that I can share with you guys, I think this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys shortly in the next video. Bye.